Hi, I'm Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and it is Saturday, September 1st, 2018, and I am excited today. If I had filmed this video yesterday, which was the original plan, the thing that I was most excited about in my stitching life would have been this. This is Stone Hearth Hutch, the pattern's Thomas Kincaid. I pulled it out of that 13-year-old box of UFOs from my first video, and at the time... I didn't know this was in there. I boxed it up before we bought this house 12 years ago, and I had forgotten it, and I had no expectations when I pulled it back out that I would ever finish it. I thought that there were some problems with the windows, and that there was a reason I had put it away, and I don't know. I... <laughs> I don't feel bad about not knowing the story behind every project that I started and abandoned more than a decade ago. Uh, earlier this month, or earlier last month, since we're September now, I had started to think that I wanted to be working on another full coverage project. And the easiest way to start a full coverage project fast was to pull this out of the box and start stitching on it. This is how much I had of it done when I pulled it out of the box and started working on it again. So I started stitching, I had the tree done, and I started stitching around the tree. And then I went over and started stitching the sky, and I've kind of been jumping all over the place. And so far everything is lining up, so I don't know where or what my problem was. With as much as I've got done at this point, whatever the project problem was, I think I'll be able to hide it and... I don't like this project. It is my least favorite of the Thomas Kincaid patterns in my stash, but I own it and it was three quarters of the way stitched and when I pick it up I can't put it back down so I'm having fun. I'm having more fun than it seems like you could possibly have with a project you had no intention of finishing. So I'm excited. And one of the things about this one, if I had gone through and decluttered and gotten rid of the things that I knew I was never going to finish, this would have gone. I was never going to finish this. Betcha it'll be done by the end of the month. I just betcha. And I am loving the full, there's something about full coverage that I love. So when that is done, I think I'm going to move on to Sanctuary, which I do still love and still want. There is the picture from the pattern. Or I may grid the fabric and sort the floss and start something new. I don't know. Other thing I'm super happy about, I finished Who's There by Prairie Schooler. It was a problem because I didn't grid my fabric. I listen to all the people on the Facebook groups who say, oh, I don't need to grid. I can count. Gridding is a waste of time. Yeah, I can't count. I need to grid. Gridding is not a waste of time for me personally. Other thing I was excited about before today, and I still am, is the Hedgehog Stitch Along, which is being put together by Ginger Gerald Stitcher and Buckeye Stitcher. I watched their video and I went, oh, I got that at Hobby Lobby at the same time everybody else was giving it at Hobby Lobby. If anyone's keeping score, I paid $7 for mine. We have, My husband and I had a hedgehog many, many years ago. And now our daughter has a hedgehog of her own. So I picked this up and I thought I would stitch it for her because that was an excuse for buying it. And they've got, look at their little faces. They are so realistic. I'm So I'm excited about hedgehogs. And that doesn't start till October 1st, so I'll grid my fabric like I should. Other thing I have got going on is Little Girl with Cosmos. My plan as of right now is to get all of the flowers done and the grass done and her hair done and then I will work my way through her dress because she looks almost done except for the dress. There's a lot of stitching there. And I'm kind of thinking that I may block out an area where I just need to do one color and I'll take it up to acorns and threads with me and work on it up there on Thursday. That would be good. Other thing 
I'm, I'm excited about everything right now, which is a fun way to be. Show it to you right side facing. This is still halfway home, which I showed you last time. And it's lace, but it's the kind of lace where after you've done a few inches of it, you can do it from memory without looking at the chart. So this has graduated from something I was paying attention to, to being my nightly TV knitting. And I told you in my last video about my great aunt who had passed away and about the prayer shawl ministry at her church. I worked up the nerve and gave them a call last week to see if I could contribute some shawls in her memory. And I expected them to say yes, but what I didn't know was if these triangular lacy shawls that I'm knitting would fit their guidelines, because looking online at prayer shawls, some places are very picky about what yarn, what pattern, and I can understand that from the sense that like one of them was in memory care center and all of the shawls had to be the same size and same yarn with only a very little difference in pattern because they didn't want hurt feelings or jealousy. And I understand that, but at the same time, if I'm going to knit shawls, I want to knit something that I enjoy knitting, that I find a little bit challenging, that I'm stretching my skills or something. I'm not at a point right now today where I want to continuously knit the same shawl in a yarn that I don't care to knit with. And most of the shawls at Nita's Pearl Shawl Group are Lion Brand Homespun. I have knit with it before. One of my very first sweaters I made for my daughter was with Lion Brand Homespun, and the members of my knitting group, the only reason they were able to convince me not to burn it was because it would make the house smell. Of course, that was the sweater that my daughter wore pretty much any time we went to a yarn store or some kind of public outing where there were knitters. She'd wear that until everyone her mommy had made it for her, and I'd want to sink into the floor because it was a nightmare of a sweater. It's gone now. She's got better sweaters. I did her a Weasley sweater that I think she still has that's adult sized that I don't shudder when I think of it. It's not a great sweater, but it's not embarrassing either. Yes, the S is apparently upside down, but it's a sweater that fits a body and it has color work and that's enough for me. So now that it is September 1st, the thing I am most excited about in my stitchy world is the I cannot horrorween stitch along that Amityville is in charge of and I started this morning I waited until it was the first I even waited until it was like daylight on the first I'm doing home is where the horror is by witchy stitches from her Etsy store I won this from her in a giveaway she did months ago it has the Bates Mansion under it and a border around it, and I, th this is my favorite thing today. Except maybe my other favorite thing today is the Super Scary Sock Fest started, and we got the pattern. The way that it works is the pattern releases at midnight, which is usually midnight Eastern time. So I did last night just before bed get to check and I wanted to knit the first pair of socks, but I didn't know if the first pair of socks would call for materials that I didn't have or be inspired by a movie that I was not excited about or be a technique that I absolutely could not stand. So I got the pattern last night. It is inspired by Return to Oz. I don't remember the name of the actual name of the pattern, something about the Yellowbrook Road. And I have got green yarn that I am really excited to use. And it's cables. I like cables. I'm probably going to cast on with this tonight while the video is uploading. I did go to the thrift store this week, but there was nothing exciting enough that it had to come home with me. And that's fine because if I found 
wonderful treasure troves every time I went thrifting them. I'd run out of money and I'd run out of room and so I'm okay if I don't find anything great. It's more fun if I don't find anything that needs to come home with me, but I do find things to take pictures of to share with you. But that wasn't in the cards this week. My daughter did go to the Dollar Tree and sent me pictures. She found these. Of course, then I had to go to the Dollar Tree and they were just putting out their Halloween stuff. They're candle holders. I wish they were glasses or something food safe, but tell me this is not the perfect or ort jar for the horror ween stitch along. Just try to tell me that. They had... I didn't get all of them. I didn't get all of the different designs. But they had a bunch of them and I'm excited. Halloween is the season for being excited. So I think that that is everything. I've done a lot of... Oh! That's not everything. Forgot something in my notes. I was watching Bendy Stitching Michelle's videos about her arbitrary August with her little spinny wheel on her phone and my phone is too old for a spinny wheel. My phone is... There's a commercial that they've been playing before the movies at the movie theater about this woman who has her phone that everybody tells her that she needs to replace and she goes to the Samsung store to try to fix her iPhone because... That's what you do in Samsung commercials. My phone is several generations older than the old sad iPhone in the Samsung commercial. My phone won't let me do the Tiny Decisions app. And my replacement phone, which is a hand-me-down from my daughter, is... It's an angry phone. It likes to randomly delete all of my apps and all of my pictures and all of my everything and the other day it decided it just wasn't going to be a phone anymore so I'm she's going to troubleshoot it again and sooner or later I'm going to wind up with a real phone that is from the current era of phones but as long as I can post on Instagram and make calls and film YouTube videos I'm really not. That, that's all I need to do with my phone. I don't have any ego or anything tied up with whether or not I have a new phone. I just need a sort of functional phone. But I kind of want a spinning wheel app. So what I did, I made a list of my projects and numbered them, and I used the random number generator. That was so much fun! I can't get over how much fun that was. When I had an afternoon that I knew I was going to sit and do a lot of stitching, I'd pick a number, spend an hour on that project, pick another number, spend an e another hour on the different project, and I worked my way through a couple of afternoons like that very happily. But I only had five projects, and I finished two of them, so now I'm in the mood I want to start more projects so that I can have more possibilities playing with my number generator. So I didn't participate in Arbitrary August, but this whole idea of arbitrarily picking projects and working on them is really making me happy. So September is going to be a month of starting projects for me. I really only have right now, for cross stitch, I have a Little Girl's Fancy, Girl with Cosmos, Stone Hearth Hutch, and Home is Where the Horror is, I could comfortably start a few more projects and rotate my way through them. So I think I'm going to do that. And I think I want to start some more shawls now that I know where they're going to go and kind of have an action plan. And I have that whole multi-bin yarn stash from Hobby Lobby clearance. So I've been slowly chipping away at it, and I don't have to to chip away at it at all, let alone chip away at it fast. But working through it makes me happy, and stitching on my projects makes me happy, and that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to go cast on my socks and see if I can work out the placement of the house. Did you see I didn't grid my fabric? I did not learn my lesson with who's there, and I am living dangerously, and I don't think the horror ween 
Stitch Along is supposed to be scary like that. <laughs> I'm trying to be quiet. I have a child in the kitchen behind the camera trying to open the bottle of Sprite so that it won't hiss and give us background noise in the video. Thank you again for watching. I will be back between four terribly long. I've got some other things I want to do videos about and maybe a Halloween sewing tutorial. I always appreciate everybody's comments, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks!